Hi, this is fun, and today I'll show you how you can exchange using, of course, iCloud 3D Exchange 5 Pipeline Edition to transfer content from iCloud 5 into Shade 12 Professional. So, how do we go and establish that pipeline? Let's find out. So, first on a new project, we insert an actor. I'll use the dummy non standard human actor for simplicity's sake. There we go. Now let's add some movement. Top it will be fine, by the way. This can top it as under motion, mail, mail motion, mode one, perform, and it can top it. So, once again, it's animated. Okay. Now, to transfer it to 3D Exchange, we go to the actor tab, and of course, with this selection. Here we click on Edit in 3D Exchange. As you can see, it's empty right now, but once we click on the Edit in 3D Exchange, it gets imported. However, the animation was not imported. As you can see, the cycles are grayed out. So, how would we go and get some animation? Well, one way to do it one is in iClone again under the animation tab and click and drag to here like this. There you go. However, even when we select it here, this icon get usable from if we go file export to other formats, export FBX, this is grayed out. So the way to fix it is easy. We click on the option, then we click here and add to perform. There you go. Now if we do again the file export to other 3D formats, export FBX, it gets selectable. So let's name this stick figure and using the Y up axis and use centimeters as a unit and of course we set scale and for avoiding potential issues we need duplicated objects. Okay, and here let's make. Oh, this will be fun. On G dot five long in folder. Let's make this browse. And clone. Make new folder indeed. But let's name this stick figure. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Successfully exported. Now, there's something we must see here. As nice as this stick figure is. It does not have any materials. So, what would happen if it did have, did have some textures in the materials? No textures. So, let's go to texture. Mm, clone. Stick figure. Yeah, okay. And let's drag and drop this guy. Nice. Nice t-shirt for the stick figure. Now let's do again what we just did. Export a reaction. Stick figure. 
Yes. Okay. Successfully exported. Now we go into shade. Mm. For performance sync, let's change this to heavy one frame for a moment. And let's go file import FEX. Nothing there because we're on the stick figure. Stick figure, okay. Okay, import screen editor. Let us see the file. Did it import? Let's see if we get a fit window. Yes, there is there. And if we really zoom in on the camera using the scroll wheel on the last button, there you have it. Now let's see. It does have the texture right. You can see it. Let's look at something else. Okay, here it is. But what happens if we try to play that animation? Here you can see the joints. Or in other words, here are the joints. Everything has a joint, so everything should have an animation, right? Wrong. The animation didn't come through. So what should we do? Let's move on. Let's get the animation. No. No. We could try to exploit to Colaro, right? Using World Famous Autodesk FBX Converter. Let's see. The website one, here it is. Stick figure. Stick figure. I drag and drop that, by the way. Stick figure if we act. Let's see if it shows properly. It shows properly. Now, let's export it. Uh, it didn't like animation with Clara. I mean, we let the FS like Clara. Here it is. Stick figure. No options. Convert. There we go. Now, file, import, Polara, stick figure, okay. This works. A blank image, some master surfaces parts, but no geometry. So, this is not a way to do it. I'll show you. Oh, you could achieve a successful result in from you and instead of using the Autodesk VX Converter, let's use Ultimate and Graph 3D. I'm using, as you can see, not in the most recent version. Okay, so. While open, moving forward, let's go to stick figure, stick figure FBX, that is the fabric of right, 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 okay, let's see if it animates, it does animate, okay, animation did come through, so, what about exporting and stuff like that here, export, no. Save as stick figure, yes, going in a of Yes, and the really important thing here is to check this export from texture file path, otherwise, weird here will things happen on your materials sometimes. So, okay. And drop export. Now back into shade. File import Colada. 
still feed here. And this will take a while. There you go. Apparently, the Colada import filter in shade does a lot of thinking, so it isn't quite as fast as FBX. But if you remember, well, you can see it here. Have to window. No. Let's see. Okay. Oh, here it is. You aren't getting those strange lines over there, like in this one. See? This represents movement. So, accordingly, if we do here an animation, let's zoom a bit. First, let's check if the texture came through. Yes, it did. And let's play. Yes, it does. What you're saying is a scene we draw. So, if the computer is not fast enough, like in my case, when you play the animation, the wireframe gets unselected and you just see a very basic version of the animation with those lines. There you go. And that is the way to get an iPhone figure into shade 12.